Adding sound effects to your AI generated video will either make or break your video. If you do it wrong, your video might sound like this. It's June 5th, 1942 in Pascagoula, Mississippi. Two young girls sleep peacefully in their convent bedroom. Outside, a window screen has been carefully slid open. Someone is watching. But if you do it right, then it will elevate your video into something like this. It's June 5th, 1942 in Pascagoula, Mississippi. Two young girls sleep peacefully in their convent bedroom. Outside, a window screen has been carefully slid open. Someone is watching. Someone is waiting. You see the difference? That's why everyone is nowadays using VO3, because it automatically adds in that sound design. And even though VO3 isn't quite good, people still end up using it. But what if you want to use something like Kling, C-Dance, One, or any of the other AI video generators, then you don't have any option to add in your sounds. Luckily, Eleven Labs just launched their new and improved AI sound effects generator. And I've been testing it and it's actually pretty good. That means that Eleven Labs is becoming your all-in-one tool for audio generation. It can do voice cloning, voice generation, music, and even sound effects. In this video, I will walk you through how you can use this to add sound effects to your own AI generated videos. We will test out if it's actually good and if it can replace other subscriptions so you can just use one subscription alone. If you want to follow along and use my assets, then I will leave a link to that in the description down below. I will also leave a link to 11 Labs. Once you're logged into 11 Labs, then you want to go over to sound effects. So here we have the new and improved sound effects. It is categorized under all of these different segments. So if you want to use animals, then you can just filter on animals. But if you want to have something custom, then you can here describe your sound and then you can add in your settings. So I have my timeline right here. So I have this video, which is quite boring without any sound effects. Just take a listen. It's June 5th, 1942 in Pascagoula, Mississippi. Two young girls sleep peacefully in their convent bedroom. Outside, a window screen has been carefully slid open. Someone is... So yeah, not much going on there. No music, no sound effects, just a voiceover on top of these videos. So now let me walk you through how I would edit this if I were to add in these AI generated sound effects. So what we do is we go back to 11 Labs and first we want to start off with an impact hit. This is an effect that adds a dramatic sound to our beginning intro, especially once we're hitting the black screen and it goes to June 5th. So to do that, we're gonna describe our sound which will be impact hit with a reverb. Now the reverb will add that like echoey sound to it. For the duration, I'm gonna go with seven seconds and then for the prompt influence, I put it at 64. Now the lower you put it, the more creative it will get. The higher you put it, the more it will follow your prompt. Now you click on generate and this will take like 10 seconds. So we have these four versions right here. Sounds good, but if you don't like them, then you can just generate them again. So let's actually do that. Now we have four new ones, let's have a listen. I quite like the first one. If you wanna search your history, then you go in here and you can see your history right here. Now, inside of your history, you can click download. And now we're downloading this as a WAV file. So this will be a higher quality result. So next up, you go back to CapCut and now you find the place where you want to add this in there. Now we add this effect right at the beginning where June 5th is placed. So right over at this sound right here, where June 5th, we will hear this. It's June 5th, 19... And this makes it a bit more dramatic. Let's add another sound effect using 11 Labs. So we're gonna go back to sound effects. Now we need an ambience to set the tone for the scene. So I'm gonna go with horror atmosphere. And for the duration, I'm gonna make this a bit longer. So let's do something like this. And then for the influence, I'm gonna keep it at 64%. Let's have a listen to this one. That one is quite good. I like that one too. Okay, it's for me between the second and the third one. And we click on it and now let's choose either this one.
Let's actually go with this one. I'm gonna download this and now we're gonna go over to CapCut again. And now we just need to decide where we're gonna place this. So I think right about here where we have like the fade out, this will be a good place where we can add this sound effect. 1942 in Pascagoula, Mississippi, two young girls sleep peacefully. We might just have to lower the sound a little bit. 1942 in Pascagoula, Mississippi, Two young girls sleep peacefully in their convent bed. That makes it quite creepy. Next up, I want to add in another sound for when this guy is like opening up the window. Like I want to have somewhat of a jump scare effect there. So we're gonna go with another impact hit, but this time we do it a little bit different. By the way, if you don't know like what these things are called, you can also always explore. Like for example, they already have some pre-made ones that you can just use as well. So for example, here we have an impact. This is quite a low one, but I want to go with a high impact cinematic hit. For the duration, this one is going to be a lot shorter as this is going to be a jump scare. So let's do around three seconds. And I wanted to follow the prompt a little bit more. So I'm going to put that at 75. Let's have a listen. That's exactly what I want. Okay, for me, it's between one and four. Let's actually do one. For the placement, we wanna place it right around here where we can add in that high impact. So this will be for the jump scare. So let's add it right here. And now it's like this. One is watching, someone is waiting by morning. You see how that elevates the scene right away? Like if you didn't have this sound effect, like if I were to just turn this off. Someone is waiting. Then there's nothing special. But if we add in this sound effect. Someone is watching someone is waiting then audio kind of gives you a jump scare so it elevates the scene that's what sound effects and music do to your ai videos that's why it's so important to master ai music design and ai sound effect design moving on when these two girls are like waking up i want to add in some more sounds so let's give it another prompt this time we're doing horror atmosphere with an eerie with low droning rumble if airy high frequency whispers for the timing i want it to be a bit longer so i'm gonna do something like let's do like 7.3 something like that and then we're gonna just enter this and it will give us this result It's okay, but I'm going to do it again because I think we can do better. And that's entirely the process with using AI. Like it doesn't matter if you're doing images, videos or sound design. You just got to generate it a few more times until you get something perfect. Don't go with the first result. There might be something better if you generate it a couple of times. Let's have a listen. So that's a lot better. So yeah, let's actually go with this first one, download it. Then we put it inside of CapCut again. And now let's put it right here when they have this scene where they wake up. By morning, 11-year-old Mary Evelyn Briggs and 12-year-old Edna Marie Hidal will wake up to discover locks of their hair scattered across their pillows. So now we added in four different sound effects. Let me show you what this sounds like. It's June 5th, 1942 in Pascagoula, Mississippi. Two young girls sleep peacefully in their convent bedroom. Outside, a window screen has been carefully slid open. Someone is watching. Someone is waiting. By morning, 11-year-old Mary Evelyn Briggs and 12-year-old Edna Marie Hidal will wake up. Honestly, I think it has drastically improved our video. So that is how you add in sound effects to your AI generated videos using Eleven Labs. This can also be done for more special effect type videos. Just take a look at this example with and without sound effects. Meet. Steps in sync, our shadows meet. Rush. 
all of these sound effects were all generated using Eleven Labs. In fact, all of my editors that are editing my videos have access to Eleven Labs so that they can make the best type of videos with good sounding sound effects. The thing that I like the most about this is that you can completely customize it. Because if you need something longer, you can just increase the duration time. If you need it shorter, you can decrease it. The only thing that you need to be aware of is what type of sound effect you exactly need and what the name of that is. If you want to try this out for yourself, then use the link in the description down below. And Eleven Labs actually has this for free. Like you could use 50 generations, which is not a lot, but if you want to try it out, then you can do so with the free plan. I am currently on the pro plan as I use it quite a bit, but I would suggest either using the creator plan or the pro plan, depending on how much you need. Click the video that's on the screen right now if you want to have a full in-depth tutorial on how to use Eleven Labs. I will walk you through everything that you you need to know in order to become a master at using a level lapse.